what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? Catherine Kahn has been identified by family members and friends as the woman who was ejected from a Lamborghini in Atlanta, Georgia. How did Catherine die? Well, that's under investigation. The police don't know if she jumped or if she was pushed, thrown out of the vehicle. Now, one witness called in to say that he saw the woman being pushed. He told the 911 operator that she was pushed. He said that they, throw, they threw out. Let me back up. He didn't say, I saw her get pushed. He said, they pushed her out. They pushed her. Implying that he saw her get pushed. In any event, uh, this young woman, 28 years old, is dead. Now her family and friends identified her as a, you know, a caring person, a loving person who spent every moment, you know, being happy with friends and family. You couldn't tell by the argument that she was having before she died. She was outside, uh, uh, standing outside of a vehicle. Uh, the, the Lamborghini, the same Lamborghini that is being reported that she was, uh, I guess, thrown from or ejected from. She was having an argument and she was, you know, she was fired up. She said, you know, they're saying that she was drunk and she was talking about somebody had stolen her money or her purse or something like that. And she was having an argument with a couple of people that was standing by, they were, you know, they were at a distance standing and, and it was hard to really see who she was arguing with and what it was all about. So we don't know what the argument was really about, but she was arguing and she said something, something to the effect of her property being stolen. And the girl that she was with could be heard saying, telling somebody, you know, don't blame me up, you know, for this or whatever, you know. So we don't know what happened. All we know is that you got a, a young woman dead. Uh, when I first saw the video, it just looked like a regular toxic type of relationship thing going on. But if I look at it a little deeper, I have to, you know, what about putting myself in that situation and even if I've had a little too much to drink, if somebody steal from me, and I suspect that it's, whether I suspect that it's somebody that I'm with or a stranger, I'm gonna be hot. You know, I'm gonna be really hot about my money, man, about my stuff. So even if I wasn't drunk, I would be hot about my property being stolen. So I have to give her a little latitude there, you know? The only thing is perhaps her being intoxicated is what caused her her life. We don't know if she stood up in the Lamborghini and the thing took off and she fell out or if she was pushed out, we don't know. It would be kind of hard to just push somebody out of a Lamborghini a moving Lamborghini if you're driving, right? Unless that person was standing up or something and, you know, you gave him a shove. I don't know, fam. I don't know how that go. I don't know. Uh, apparently, they're going to be searching surveillance cameras in the area. And, you know, I'm sure that they'll produce some type of video where we can see exactly what happened. If I get an update on this, I will let you guys know. My condolences to the family. She does seem to be like a, you know, a girl that was really loved by, her, you know, friends and family. So they're all saying that she was good people. So I'll take that word. I ain't really see nobody coming in her comments, you know, talking reckless. 
you know, except some people who are just detractors for everybody, you know. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Condolences to the family. R.I.P. Catherine Kahn. Please be careful out there, family. Driving in spirits can make you a spirit. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.